146. 157. Hey guys, Dean from Blast Attack here. We've got our little hot hands on a sample pair of not yet released Neo Rhinos, MTB Neo Rhinos. And over here, we've got some Neo Hellcats. So very nice indeed. They're already wired up because we have been doing some prelim testing and they're a bit chipped and worn because of that as well. So special neo magnets these have got ball bearings the specifications are supposed to be insane some massive torque from these hellcats similar with the neo rhinos obviously 130 motor so very curious to how these perform obviously 130 size so absolutely no shell cutting so this will be a good solution maybe the top top motor if you do not want to cut your shell at all so what we're going to do, we're going to install these motors into a 42.5 millimeter OFP cage with some worker ABS flywheels. Okay, so we've got our Neo Rhinos installed and our Neo Hellcats installed on an XT60 plug so we can plug it straight in the blaster. Um, okay, so we've got a 42.5 millimeter cage. I think the rhinos or the neo rhinos will do really good with this size cage um, anything less or more crush than 43 or 42.5 you really need to start upping the torque to a 180 size motor but being that they're neo rhinos that might put them right in the zone with this sort of crush level of 42.5 millimeters um, also interesting with the Neo Hellcats because of their awesome massive torque um, and this being a 42.5 mil cage it, it might not be the optimum for these motors they might need a, a serious high crush cage like a 41 41.5 to be to get them really into the zone and get some decent and high FPS results if, if that makes any sense at all so, all right, so we're going to do the same test as what we did with the Kronos X. So we've got our motors installed in an OFP 42.5 mil cage and we've got worker ABS flywheels. We are going to use FVJ darts, hard tip darts in a Strife, which has 16 AWG wire and an upgraded switch. So let's go and see what we get. MTB Neo Rhinos 3S LiPo FVJ darts. 139. 140. 139. 140. 138. 143. 142 138 138 144 139 142 140 138 139 138 142 144 141 Okay, demonstrating the spin-up time of the MTB Neo Rhinos. As you can see, very quick, especially for a 130 motor, very quick indeed. Probably outdoes quite a few 180 motors out there. Neo Hellcats, 3S LiPo, FVJs. 141. 151. 140. 
148. 141. 148. 144. 143. 145. 150. 148. 149. 147. 146. 157. 142. 153. 148. 146. And 146 demonstrating the spin-up time for the Neo Hellcats. So you can see very, very quick. All right, ladies and gents, how good was that? Okay, straight to it. We've got the Neo Rhinos. Average, 140.26 FPS on average. So just amazing from a 130, a small 130 size motor. Very good performance. And I think with this cage and flywheel setup, it really puts it in the zone. It's a 42.5 mil cage um, with either worker artifact or, or hooligan wheels. I think this setup is putting them in their optimum sort of zone given their torque and, and specifications to the motor. So very impressed with this. If, if you want that ultimate sleeper strife or rapid strike, I really think these are the motors to go to. Um, top end motors, absolutely no shell cutting at all. This is the way to go for that sort of setup. And then we've got the Neo Hellcats. Just again, amazing motors, amazing torque, amazing spin up time, amazing FPS. So average with the Neo Hellcats, we've got 146.65 FPS on average. So very awesome on this setup, 42.5 mil cage and worker wheels. I, I seem to think that, and it would obviously be true, um, Higher torque motors like this, like the Fang, like the Kronos X, they really will come into their zone at higher crush levels. So your combination between flywheels and your cage, higher crush levels, uh, you require more torque and you obviously output more FPS. So these bigger high torque motors will be at their optimum at the higher crush levels. Obviously, these Neo motors will come in at a higher price tag. They've got the fancy magnets. They've got the the ball bearings. They're, they're a premium motor. So, in Neo Rhino, of course, it's going to be more expensive than a normal Rhino. I mean, you can see that the, the added performance that we've got. Um, same with the, the Neo Hellcat. That's going to be a, a bigger price tag than than a normal Hellcat. But I mean, each each motor has its place. You, you might have an event that has a cap on FPS, like a HVZ event. It could be 100 or 110 FPS. So it, a normal Rhino would, would do good in that case. So e each motor, flywheel, flywheel cage, has its own place in our sport. So if anybody has got any questions on setups, on certain FPS S levels that they want, um, don't hesitate to, to, to drop us a line, drop us an email, leave it on Facebook, just drop us a message and we're, we're more than happy to help out on the setup that you need. So once again, guys, thank you very much for, for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this little test um, with the Neo Rhinos and the Neo Hellcats. Um, pretty impressive motors from MTB. Um, it's great that people are coming out with these very special um, nerf specific motors so it's, it's really good to see all that selection of motors out there um, with other third-party parts as well it's it's truly amazing um, to be in this community and see all this work that's gone into the sport so once again thanks guys um, we'll catch you later